Hello, and welcome to this Somerville Media Center tutorial on how to host a Zoom meeting. Please note that this Zoom meeting video tutorial, presented by the Somerville Media Center, assumes prior knowledge of how to create a Zoom video account, and assumes that A. You have already had such an account, and B. You have downloaded the Zoom video app. If you have not done these things, please pause this video and go watch the Somerville Media Center video tutorial on how to set up a Zoom account. If you need to do so, please pause the video now. Welcome back. We will now commence with setting up a Zoom meeting. Please note the Deku Scrubs hair located thusly. We will be referring to this later on in this video. Please launch the Zoom video client. Please note the location of my mouse cursor in the Deku Scrubs hair. If you need time to find the mouse cursor, please pause the video and locate the mouse cursor. Welcome back. Please note that the mouse cursor will now be moving to the right. Please note that the mouse cursor will now be moving down. Your mouse cursor should now be hovering over the new beating button. Please note the following four buttons. New Meeting, Join, Schedule, and Share Screen. Please move your mouse down to the Schedule button. Please click the Schedule button. Here we can see the Schedule Meeting tab and configure our meeting. We will configure SMC Zoom Meeting Training and set a start time. Please note with the basic Zoom meeting, basic members are limited to a meeting of 45 minutes. We will assume this meeting will start at 5 o'clock and last 15 minutes. Below that, you can see a button for recurring meeting. Please click this if you wish this meeting to repeat regularly. Down from that, you have the meeting ID. It's preset to generate automatically. You may leave this set as such. Below that is the meeting password. The meeting password is randomly generated. Please note people will need this meeting password in order to join the meeting. Below that is the video for the host and the participants. If you wish your video to start on, click on. If you wish your participants to start on, click on. Below that is the audio tab. You will note the telephone computer audio, and telephone and computer audio. Please leave it as telephone and computer audio. Down from that, you see the calendar. You can send calendar invites via Outlook, Google Calendar, or other calendars. While Google Calendar is selected, it is not needed. Please then click Schedule. It is currently scheduling. You will note that your video browser may auto-open in an attempt to launch Google Calendar. As this video tutorial of a Zoom meeting provided by the Somerville Media Center does not require Google Calendar, we can safely exit out of this window. You will see in this tab the current time and any meetings you have scheduled. This is the meeting we scheduled. Please click the three dots and hit Copy Invitation. Then, you may go to your email client of choice via your web browser of choice. Simply paste the copied text. You will see that I have invited you to a Zoom meeting with the topic and start time, the Zoom meeting URL, the meeting ID, and the password. Give your email a subject and a, and a recipient and click send. When you are ready to start the meeting, simply click the start meeting button next to the meeting of choice. This is the meeting tab. You will notice a pop-up window inviting you here to test your speaker.
and microphone. Please click Test Speaker and Microphone. You should hear a ringtone. If you do not, please click down here where it says Speaker 1 and adjust your audio to headphone device accordingly. If you hear it, please click Yes. You will then have the option to test your microphone. Please click Yes if you hear your voice after a brief pause. Once everything looks good, click Join with Computer Audio. Then click Join with Computer Audio. You are now ready to begin your Zoom meeting. We are now in a Zoom conference meeting. I am joined by Somerville Media Center Front Desk Media Coordinator Tina Cabral. Tina, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me, Adam. You will note there are several options at the bottom of the screen. Going from left to right, we will go through them. The first is the mute button. Pressing this button will mute your microphone. To the right of that is an arrow allowing you to select your microphone. To the right of that is the stop video button. Selecting this will terminate your video. To the right of that allows you to select your webcam. To the right of that is the invite button. Click this if you wish to invite additional people to the meeting. To the right of that is the manage participants. Clicking that brings up the participant window. You can see there are two people in this conference right now, myself and Tina. I can mute Tina, mute all, or have more options. A useful feature is to play the enter exit chime at the beginning of the meeting. You can also turn this feature off. The lack of a check mark indicates that the meeting the lack of check the lack of a check mark indicates that this feature is not active. To the right of that is screen share. Pressing that will bring up the screen share window, allowing you to share certain aspects of your computer. To the right of that is a chat window, allowing people in the chat, if they are muted, to continue to talk to each other. To the right of that is the record button. Pressing this allows me to record this meeting on my computer. You will note the record icon appearing thusly. The meeting will be recorded and saved after the termination of the video. A useful feature of Zoom meeting is that the active person in this mode view will always be the forefront. To demonstrate this point, Tina, how is your day going? It's going, Adam. How about yours? Going excellent. We have many fun activities planned using Zoom meeting. When I stop the recording or pause it, I will get a notification saying that it will be converted to MP4 format when the meeting ends. To the right of that is reactions. You can use it to post reactions. To the right of that is the end meeting button. Clicking this will end the meeting. Before we end the meeting, I would direct your attention to the button at the top of the screen labeled Gallery View. Clicking this activates Gallery View so that all parties can see everything. Please note that while recording, this functionality will not display the active participant. Back to Speaker View. This concludes the Somerville Media Center video tutorial on Zoom Meeting. I'd like to thank Tina for assisting me. You're welcome. Thank you for watching the Somerville Media Center video tutorial on Zoom Meeting. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out via email at astone at somervillemedia.org.